Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah one of the most deplorable characteristics that a Muslim can have and in fact anyone who considers himself a man uh, can have is the trait of violence towards the women and often I guess this is a result of poor tarbiya perhaps the man was abused as a child or that's the sunnah that he witnessed in his household but for those who have not witnessed this kind of sickness it is it's a very strange concept and it's an alien concept and it goes against the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we're talking about spousal abuse and more specifically we're talking about physical Abuse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the surah, in the verse about uh, Surah Al-Talaq, the verse of divorce, talking about the ahkam, the rulings, and the procedure uh, of divorce. That's in the Holy Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, keep them in kindness, in ma'roof, in goodness, everything that is good, or separate from them in kindness. So if you have a problem with your wife, that you and her are always fighting and arguing, and it, ha it gets to physical confrontation, or you're frustrated about your job and your employment, you're frustrated about your life, it's going nowhere, whatever the case may be, at taqullah, that you have to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you must establish that self deep, that deep within yourself to flee from that evil urge. Because that is a wicked and nasty uh, act of cowardliness. And I have seen the picture of a particular so-called brother who was even around the Salafi community. How, what kind of salaf is this? This is not the salaf of Saleh. And his picture was distributed after he beat his wife to death. This was uh, in one of the localities in America uh, years ago. This is a type of, he is definitely sick and he's in prison. And I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses him to repent or gives him that which he deserves for such a wicked and evil act. What would it have taken for you to just divorce your wife and separate, separate in kindness for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is because we don't put Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first in our relationships. And may Allah forgive us of our many, many shortcomings. All of us have shortcomings, especially with regards to the rights of others in the marriage and the spousal relationship. At the same time, the hands never should be raised. And this came to mind because I saw that a sister on Facebook, and may Allah forgive us and her and guide us and her, she put up some pictures of herself that m had taken place uh, years ago that obviously this was uh, from, I don't know if it was her prior spouse or her current spouse, but for one, you shouldn't put your business all the way out, out on the world, on the world stage like that. And number two, it's unbefitting, not just without hijab, but showing yourself beaten. She was beaten to a pulp. Her eye was this big and all uh, bruised and black. Her jaw was dislocated and broken and all bruised and that's unbefitting. It's unbefitting of the believer and the Muslim woman to put herself out like that. And number two, to put her business out there like that if there's no maslaha, there's no sharia benefit of that. Except for perhaps to call to attention this wicked wickedness that unfortunately is within the community that some people have the disease or perhaps many people have the disease because we've known of many, many cases and I'm going to exploit some of them for the sake of letting us know that we have to ac account for these things and deal with this. And this is another situation in America in which a, uh, a particular brother from one of the countries, Arab countries, where they have a, a tendency to be hot-headed and to be physical with their women. And that's not acceptable, at least according to the law in America. And so this particular brother, the wife had been going to the imam and, and trying to get help for his abuse. He found out 
in, in front of the brothers, but the brothers don't play that. In, in this particular community, this community was known for trying to command the good and forbid the evil. So this particular brother came up to his wife in the parking lot in front of the brothers and started beating his wife. The brothers didn't play that. The brothers beat this guy to a pulp. Now, I'm saying this for the point of letting us know that we can't ignore those type of wicked sins that are amongst us and that we can't hesitate and that if a sister's in that situation, the community needs to help her and not just keep silent as the one brother exposed the child molesting insanity that was going on in a, in a masjid in California. May Allah guide us in them and, and give that man who, who did that what he deserves when he fleed to Pakistan. Because if we would have caught him, he wouldn't have been able to flee to Pakistan so easily. And what I want to say, Habatifillah, is that this kind of sickness has got to be dealt with on a community level. And if the community doesn't deal with it, then you, as a Muslim, you have your right, yes, in disbelieving lands, in disbelieving authority, to go to the police and get yourself protected from the evil that is being done to you. And we ask Allah the Almighty to protect our women, to protect our community, and bless us with ikhlas with that, and preserve the Muslims everywhere, especially those who are oppressed in China and otherwise who are being oppressed from various levels. And don't forget the dua of the oppressed is accepted. So they, the Chinese authorities need to fear something. They need to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They need to come away from their shirk and kufr and zandaka and ilhad in every means in their communism and come to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to tawheed and know that Ahli Iman is praying against you. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless the Muslims everywhere, preserve the Muslims everywhere, and let us be a source of guidance to all the people, Muslim and non-Muslim, to guide them to the light of Islam and to know that their justice comes from Islam and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-adl. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhaab al-nar. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.